And if you look, you can see it catching right there and right down there. So we're going to take it off, lift it up, and pop it correct. Right? Like that. Here we go. Okay, we're going to route it, and what we're going to use is we're going to use a roundover bit. We're going to run a roundover bit on the side that's catching all the way down, and then we're going to touch it up. And here is a good look at the roundover bit. Basically, it's got a bearing to follow the straight edge. It's got a nice clean cut in line right there. And this is just a platform to help hold it. it over. We'll paint it white and when we're done painting it white we'll reinstall it All right, just to let and that will take know, care of it. I went ahead and I cleaned off the excess dust to keep it from getting in the paint. I already have shaken up a can of our interior satin finish that I use for trim and doors and uh, I don't mind to plug it. Someday we'll see the big fat check. I've already shaken it up here. I keep some of this on hand for touch up. And I'm just going to run it completely down the style. And I'm going to go ahead and once I've got it on the style, I'll start working it over here onto the uh, outside corner that we just rounded over and uh, work that out and feather it. I'm not going to worry about painting the whole edge, just what is going to be seen from all oh, like me to do that. You can go ahead and send that request to vlog. That's V L O G at phillipswoodworking.com. Usually takes a few days for me to get around to doing the video. And then once the video is uploaded, if you find that video useful, please feel free to make a donation to me to pay for my time, my efforts, my filming, involved. You can make that donation via PayPal, and you can go to your PayPal website, log in, go to the donate button or the send money button. When you find the send money button, who are you going to send it to? You're going to send it to me. You're going to send that to B L O G at Phillips Woodworking dot com. That's blog B L O G at Phillips Woodworking dot com. Now the paint that I'm using has a satin finish. A lot of people will use a different kind of paint. They will use a very high gloss or even a semi-gloss. I myself prefer to use a satin or a flat because I don't want every little brush stroke showing up. For and that is pin. the top receiving hinge pin and it will actually go right in that hole and it's spring loaded and the wheel rides along this track so that way when it bifolds the wheel goes here the fold comes out and the hinge pin stays in its home pin. and the way that we do this is we're actually going to line this up first up at the top and we're going to put it in there and it's going to lock in for us and I've got the roller wheel in place I'm going to readjust the camera so you can then see what we're going to see do the very the small pin right here next to my middle finger I'm pointing to that sets in this track that's grooved and what we're going to do is we're just going to simply lift up on the door you can see that pin is making its way to where it needs to be now the next part of this is going to be adjusting the door so it doesn't snap and also so the reveal going up and down. Sometimes I'll use the pry bar, but because of the wood floor, I don't want to damage it. Okay, and you see how it shifted over? 
Wonderful. And Looks pretty straight. Looks pretty good. Now let's listen for any of the uh, popping. Nope. No catches. No popping. That's exactly what we wanted earlier. It was popping down right here. It's not doing that anymore. Cool. That's wonderful, wonderful news.